even smoother. This is awesome. It's freaking windy though. Holy crap. It's gonna be like 60 miles per hour wind. I feel like I'm in a hurricane. Oh wow. So much smoother. Oh, beautiful. Just just beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Wow, this is like immediately smoother. I highly recommend if you haven't done this or if your bike has it, uh, I would get it done. Like it's wow. Like I, I didn't think I'd really notice that much of a difference. I just thought it'd be the noise. Like I just thought it'd be like the noise that would really change, but it's everything. The smoothness, the, even the quick shifter. So if you have not done it yet, I'd highly recommend you do it. I don't know if you guys will be able to uh, notice a difference like with the microphone, but I, I sure as hell can. Hey, my nigga. Wow, it's so much smoother. Holy cow. This sounds way better down low. And then it would kind of like bog out in first gear, but it doesn't do that anymore. Oh, so much smoother. So typically, the other thing that people will do is they'll swap out the sprocket, and I think they lower a tooth in the rear, which will give better, I mean, it chops off your top end. Nice blinker, you faggot. So yeah, it chops off a little bit of your top end speed, but I don't really think you need that, you know? Unless you're like me, the MotoGP bitch. Oh, it's so much more alive. I love it. Most, if not all, bikes do have a butterfly flapper. So what that is, is it's something that below a certain RPM with this bike, I believe is 6,000 RPMs. 6,000 RPMs down to the idle, which is around 1,500. It closes this flap inside the exhaust right here, which makes it quieter and it passes emissions laws in your country. So. What I'm gonna do is basically keep that flap all the way open, which those cables are running right here. And you're just gonna have to remove, this is called a fairing puller. You're just gonna have to remove that and remove the cables. Now, one thing to note is that you do not remove the sensor. I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like back there. But you do not remove that because then it'll um, flip on a light, a check engine light on your bike. I'll go ahead and pointed out what it is. So that right there is your flapper. See how it has the two cables? It has a cable on the left and has a cable on the right. And I would show you guys how the different sounds it makes, if it's closed and if it's open, but mine is so stiff that it's really hard to flap open and flap close. So what I'm gonna do is just undo it and then there's a, basically a spring in there and it's gonna keep the bike, it's gonna keep the flapper valve open all the time. So it's instantly gonna make it louder and also it's gonna help low idling speeds, like if you're sitting in traffic, anything that's like low, you know, below 30 miles per hour. And then this was the sensor I'm talking about. Do not remove that sensor. So leave that thing in. Now I'm just gonna loosen up these these two nuts and then we'll be good. So now you'll see that I have these loosened up all the way. You're gonna twist this one to the left, this one to the left, as well as that one, it will separate. Then it'll give the cable more slack on that end. So once you're done, you're gonna go ahead and unhook from the back side and you'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> 